Hey you, let's play. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. I think we need Just to get the dog. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Well, Good. I don't really know if Old it matters if you order remember that because I think Shepherd it's gonna die. Works. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. All right. At least we know a place now. You wanna finish me off now? No. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Fuck it, we're killing him. All right, Georgie. I we could have made, made it quicker than that, I guess. Well, this is a mess. But at least we got two less problems. Now we only got Crooked Man. Well, not only Crooked Man, we got Mary and the Jersey Devil as well. Probably gonna end with us killing them as well. I don't know. I guess we're leaving. I don't think Nerissa's gonna be happy about that. I wonder how if the ribbon is ineffective now since the creator died. Well, not the creator, but you, yeah, sort of the creator. Yeah, at least the creator of Nerissa's ribbon. I don't know. Let's see here. We're at the Shepherd Metalworks. According to Georgie, our little crooked man should be here. Ah, oh, there, here's his car. Let's check it. Still more. He's here, alright. Alright then. Sheriff. I wonder how we should gonna, gonna do this. This is probably gonna end with us killing him. Probably, but I would like to make him suffer a bit more. Use your strength, Big B. That lock is nothing to you. Let's see here. What's gonna happen? Alright, so we are in the metal shop. Those are the marks of the uh, so crooked man. So this is where they've been sending these. Yeah. So they made them back at the butcher's store. And then they send them here for storing. Or something like that. Sort of locked in now. Bigby Wolf. Mary. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> the Big Bad Wolf. Oh yeah. I mean, you're gonna be sorry. You used to be something. Yeah, and you used to uh, never be something. Yeah, they have been documenting us. That's creepy. They used to fear you. Yeah. And now I'm trying they to make them love me. Their small shivering bodies with that. Seven the wheel. Is that a torching device? Total is, isn't it? I mean, the crooked man is the typical one of those guys that just uh, makes everybody else do it, and he can't be blamed for it, but. Typical mobster gangster style. Mobster. Style. The big bad wolf. 
Yeah, yeah, we, we know you're here. Where the fuck it's did you come from? It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. No, I don't. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? I don't think getting angry will work too busy work fucking it, whatever breeze know. drifted through town. Okay. Sad. I should have taken the first punch. Now have you done it? You went and hide again, didn't you? Of course you did. I would like to take those silver bullets though. And a gun. I think that would be easier than just put punishing everybody to death. She's got a nasty ability. Wait, are, is she gonna show her true self? Going over there. Alright. That's the last of this place we saw, so. Are we looking for the crooked man or are we looking for her? I think we're looking for her. This is a predicament though. Don't tell us we're walking over one of those barrels with hot stuff in it. Whoa. Well, she just got the upper hand and I don't like this at all. We need to get the upper hand back guys. Should have been punched her when I had the chance. Oh shit, I missed that one. Where are you? Come out and face me. Oh, you're sexy. A little bit too short for my taste, though. Oh god! Maybe this time we shouldn't have gone for it first. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're getting her inside of that. I'm getting her inside of that. Bloody Mary, you are going to die. Right now, all I really want to do is to um, get the Jersey Devil as well. But I guess we're gonna kill him later on. We did knock him out over at the Crookman's place though, so... I don't know if we'll be seeing him anytime soon. Hello, man. Oh, you're sexy. Oh, she multiplied. Did she just make copies of herself, or is she just one of them that who's real? Alright, seems like all of them are real, which kind of makes the predicament. Oh god! You don't need to take this damage. Come on, come on, take her down, take her down, take her down. We need to take one on our back. There we go. I'm just waiting for, for the time where we can find the real one. You can do this, you can do this, Bigby. I trust you, I trust you. 
No. We can't let this happen. We can't let this happen. Now we are certainly the big bad wolf. Damn, son. Oh, she, she, she'll be regretting she's messing with us. Oh, damn. Is that the real one? She's still only one that's really dodged, so... No end to them. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? All right, baby's got something planned. Oh, he's gonna huff and puff. <laughs> of course he is. Damn, big! Why didn't you just do that in the beginning? I wonder if there's one real or if it's, if there's one left, it doesn't matter. Okay. With all the glass in her, shouldn't be, she be... Oh, she's gonna stab us. In the eye? No, she didn't make it. Right before she was going to make it. Doesn't seem less ta tasty though. Because he's just glass. Alright, baby, how hurt are you? You took the most of the damage in your real form, so. But you look like a cannibal now. When the fuck did we take off our clothes? The crooked man. Well then, sir. I've got a, an appointment. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of special. I won't miss next time. All right. Before you do anything with me. I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask hey, for is the chance buddy. to speak for myself in front of the community. Oh, that, I'm that's sure Miss happen. White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, yep. you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, well, maybe no I reason should just hurt you a little. It's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. No, you I just mi- kill those women. But you're just manipulating you people to that. kill. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's oh, really? still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear. It's just if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, well, his you won't get your answers. But you will have a goal is to manipulate people. So to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? 
Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. Some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Indeed. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Yeah, but... Georgie. He was only the gun. You were the one who pulled the trigger. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. No. You really think I'm that stupid? Indeed. I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. No, it wouldn't. And what would it. Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. Now we're gonna you're bring in snow, Bo, but you'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. That's what I aim to do all the time. I mean, if if Bigby's ever gonna be the sheriff, he needs to do certain things by the law. I mean, some of the guys I know, attacked him. I know, we can't but help that they died. So. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> At least the people are on our side now. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. Indeed. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that... You know, Even Snow didn't have our f the faith I'm just in us. Glad you made it back in one piece. All right. I wonder if that's what be the case. If we up. Now throw this it. asshole down the fucking well. Why we? Yes. What are you waiting you for? You murderer! My you wife killed is Lily. She was my sister. Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Can I have your attention, please? Such short notice. Can I know normally we'd please. schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Well, the crooked the man is charged with the murder up. of as Faith I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. No, you don't. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? <laughs> dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that need doesn't for change this. anything. No, it we'll doesn't. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> You I are charged sort of with hate the being of Snow's Faith bitch, but Lily, then again, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various she members is of the Fable the head of the community, including right now. the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice, a misunderstanding. Aiding and oh, providing really? monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything oh, shit. you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell, Stop you the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. 
I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the we shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it, we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, I, we I have would to like start to know doing things correctly. I would like no to know where Bluebird's part in all of no this. He's secrets. just been a we're thorn in our ass. We're everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. He needs to play some kind of part, doesn't he? Well, this he was sort of a, a suspect in the beginning. Are you going to do you something fishy floor. now? Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Oh, really? really? I would never authorize such an act. Oh, and really? And you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful, you were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. Why can't I uh, re they do be responsible they for the actions me. of As others? Protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions. As oh, really? Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Oh, yeah. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Exactly. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. No, you didn't look out for you. Took you saw the opportunity. Yes, but wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that. Oh, well, that's going to be a stab in the back. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? That was a mistake. They burned my tree to ashes. What? You burned it down? You see? Why would you do that? There's more to this than they're saying, okay? It was necessary to keep this town safe. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. Oh, really? We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. 
and that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exactly. Exploiting your hope for a better life. This is what I said before. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Exactly. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. For some strange but reason. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Really? She's siding with us as well? 